<laughs> okay, bro, uh, but you're gonna have the floor first. I have to tell so many people ask me, you're Mo, what's his nickname? He was supposed to be my sister. It was Tootie Marie. <laughs> Tell he went to high school and he said, Mom, Mo, you gotta get rid of that. So. Yes. Guy could get beaten up at school with a name like Tootie <laughs> yeah. Marie. Well, so. take it away, man. All right, okay. Mike Collins, Gary Sieber, Larry Smith, Bill Crafton, Ellen Crook, Norm Stanglin, C.J. Butin, Jess Leshesky, Kate Glover, Kent Harrell, and Gary Wardlaw. These are the names of the 11 news directors I've worked for over the last four decades. And I want to thank them all for the following reasons. A, they either hired me. B, they never fired me. <laughs> now, that is one obvious reason I'm sitting here March 1st, 2024, for my final newscast on WNDU. Now, I worked for that last guy, Gary Wardlaw, for nine months. Four months ago, I sat in his office and told him I intended to retire when my contract ended in March. I didn't know how he'd react. Would he be the first news director to blemish my unfired streak? <laughs> well, I quickly found out Gary understood and appreciated why I stayed in my hometown to work for this great television station. That is why this last month has been nothing short of a Terry spectacle. Gary and our general manager, Ron Bartholomew, have gone above and beyond anything I expected and quite frankly deserved. But these men believe four decades of dedication and loyalty warrant such the fuss. Gary and Ron, thank you. A newsroom's a team, and I play for the best team in South Bend. When my teammates were told February was a month to honor Terry, they brought their A-games. Assignment manager Mike Pease, who I've known since our days working together at WSBT in the late 80s, spent hours on top of his other duties, making sure I received all these community honors over the last month, including Indiana citizens, holy grail, the Sagamore of the Wabash. Peaser, I owe you a pitcher and a pie at Barnaby's just like the old days before Mishawaka council meetings. Now, meantime, all these video tributes you've seen recently wouldn't be possible without chief photographer, I'm sorry, Don, photojournalist, Don Schoenfeld, <laughs> who has worked with me here since the mid-90s. Donnie not only spent literally 100 hours a week making my retirement special, he did the same when Mo and Mike Hoffman retired before me. Donnie, the seasons may seem like they're changing while we wait for you to set up the backlighting. <laughs> but the result Yeah, but the result is as vibrant and s as spectacular as the changing leaves in autumn on the trees along the St. Joe River. To my fellow on-air journalists here, a thank you as well as an apology. You've all signed on for extra work this month to highlight my work over the last well, 40 some years. Not one of you has complained at least in front of me. <laughs> and your stories have been some of the best work this station has ever aired, truthfully. So Christine, Tricia, Melissa, Lauren, Josh, George, our reporters, producers, production crew, thank you. Anyone watching this last month should know now that the news at WNDU is in good hands and will be long after I've signed off. To my sister and co-anchor of 25 years, Maureen, thank you for temporarily ending your retirement to beautifully tell my story. You were my inspiration and best friend in this business. That's why you're here today. I wish the folks were here. They're the reason we are. They raised us right. To my three older brothers, Pat, Tom, Dennis, thanks for always having my back. To my wife, Lori, to our boys, Michael, Sean, and Charlie, thanks for your love and support all these years. You're my pride and joy. To my daughter-in-law, Keenan, and future daughter-in-law, Gabriella, or Gabe as we like to call her, it's apparent my boys are more intelligent than I gave them credit for. <laughs> and to my soon-to-be-born grandson, I can't wait. And finally, I want to thank you our loyal viewers, my goodness. I've been amazed and humbled by your love and support ever since I announced my retirement at the end of October. The cards, the letters, emails, social media posts, folks, they've been all over the top. It has served as a poignant affirmation of why I chose to stay here in Michiana. You've stuck by me, even though I've made my share of mistakes over the years. There are blooper reels a mile long here in this building and down at WSBT. But these past couple of weeks, watching all these tribute pieces and the replays of my work over the last four decades, I'm reminded of a scene from the movie Moneyball. Actor Jonah Hill plays a video for Brad Pitt. In full disclosure, I'm not comparing myself to Brad Pitt. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay? Hill portrays Peter Brandt, the trusted assistant to the A's general manager, Billy Bean, played by Brad Pitt. The budget-strapped A's have just been knocked out of the playoffs again, and Pitt needs some consolation. So Hill shows Pitt this video of 240-pound minor league catcher Jeremy Brown swinging at a first-pitch fastball and crushing it deep towards center field. Hill says Brown is going to do something he never does. He's going to try to stretch it to a double. But Brown trips over first base. Humiliated, Brown crawls back to first while the opposing team and his own teammates are laughing at him. And he soon finds out why. Hill tells Pitt, Jeremy is about to realize the ball went 60 feet over the fence. He hit a home run and didn't even realize it. 40 years after my father encouraged me to put law school on hold and give television a shot, I swung hard at the first pitch. And this week, it became abundantly clear to me I had hit a home run. And I'm finally realizing it. So 50 years after delivering my first South Bend Tribune to porches along St. Peter Street today, I'm making my final news delivery to your living rooms. It has been an honor. Thank you. God bless. And stay safe. You did a fabulous job, bro. Thank you. So proud of you. Thank you. And of your beautiful family. Thank He's you. the man. <laughs> Love you. You too. Mm -hmm. ah.